Hi, I'm Graham Mooney and I'm from the Department of the History of Medicine at Johns Hopkins. I've also got a joint appointment in the Department of Epidemiology in the Bloomberg School of Public Health. What we're going to do in this class is examine the history of the ideology, theory and practice of public health. We're going to be looking at how groups of people and how societies go about trying to secure their health. We're also going to think about how societies are organised in ways that attempt to mitigate or in fact facilitate the transmission of disease. When you see the syllabus, you'll notice that the course is arranged thematically rather than chronologically. We look at a variety of fundamental topics in public health, from sanitation to public health in the home, the school and the workplace. We examine the controversial history of interventions such as vaccination and exposure to toxic substances. We take a critical look at how public health has developed strategies to prevent and control chronic diseases such as cancer. And we analyse what it means to practice public health in the context of globalisation. And there are good reasons for presenting the history of public health in this way. History isn't just about compiling a roster of interesting events and significant breakthroughs. Nor is history just about a neat series of progressive developments. What we need to think about is the way in which history can shine a light on public health. How it can make us think about public health's relationship with things such as racial discrimination, class issues and gender politics. In other words, history is a form of analysis. It's something that we can think with. You might be taking this class simply because you have a long-standing interest in history and want to indulge that interest. Or maybe you want some historical background on specific public health topics you are studying elsewhere. Perhaps you want to know how public health came to be what it is today and realise that by understanding the past, there is at least a smaller chance that we will repeat what we now think of as mistakes. And these are all fantastic reasons for taking this class. But history is so much more than this. It can tell us how public health itself reflects deeper changes in society, politics and culture more generally. So what does public health mean in an age of neoliberalism and welfare austerity? What does public health mean when what is and what is not public is under constant debate? And how does public health reflect social norms about freedom, the rule of law, the balance between rights and responsibilities and citizenship? And one of the reasons that I really love being here at Johns Hopkins is that I can connect my historical interests with current public health issues. And that is very much down to you guys. So welcome to this course. I really look forward to learning more about the history of public health with you.